while Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin grabbed the majority of the space headlines, it's the companies like Sierra Nevada who actually get a lot of the space work. Our Morgan Brennan, as you now know, has more on the billionaires you've never heard of. Morgan? Hey, Carl, that's right. We talk so much about this billionaire-led space race, whether it is Elon Musk's SpaceX, who's launch pad I'm standing at right now, or Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, but they are not the only ones plowing major money and resources into commercial space. Fadi and Aaron Osman, the husband and wife team behind Sierra Nevada Corporation, are the other billionaires funding space. SNC's uh, vision in general have been uh, being a disruptive innovator. So. Our claim to fame is that we can uh, come in and challenge the status quo and bring affordable, innovative solutions. Theirs is a story of the American dream. Turkish immigrants who came to the U.S. with virtually nothing. The Osmonds bought out their small employer in 1994, using their home as collateral, building a defense heavyweight that competes against the primes, growing from 20 employees to 4,000. SNC expects to generate more than $2 billion in revenue this year. But for the past decade, the Osmonds have been investing in another big bet, commercial space. We saw the future in, in space, so that was our first acquisition co company called Microsat, building small satellites. So when I was talking to people about small satellites, their eyes were rolling, saying, well, you're like, uh, we are not ready for this. It, it may never work. And look where we are now. Everybody is now building thousands of satellites. Fadi expects SNC's business to triple in size within the next five years. And space will be crucial to that growth. Sierra Nevada is a systems integrator. We are not, uh, if you look at like SpaceX or, or Blue Origin, they're building rockets, kind of a single focus companies that are really uh, owned by people who have many other businesses. That's not their primary focus. Look at Branson, look at uh, you know, Bezos and, and uh, Musk. Uh, but this has been our sole focus. SNC's reusable space plane Dream Chaser is scheduled to begin cargo missions to the International Space Station in 2021. And the company's Habitat prototype is undergoing testing at Johnson Space Center as it competes to become NASA's lunar orbiting gateway station, which is part of the U.S. plan to bring people back to the moon. Do you think the U.S. gets back to the moon, boots back on the moon in the next five years? Uh, yes, provided that. Um, there's a caveat there. We really cannot do it in a conventional way that we did before. We have to think differently. We need to leverage the commercial space. We need to leverage entrepreneur companies like Sierra Nevada, like SpaceX and, and Blue and, and others to find the best because it needs to be a teamwork. The Osmonds preferred to avoid the public eye until now. That's a change in our uh, approach because being privately 100% owned, uh, there's we no shareholders, nobody else. and. And we really didn't see the need. It actually helped us in some of the programs that we get involved. But now it's different. Visibility is important because uh, when people don't know what we are doing, it, it works in a defense environment, but this is a lot different. So I did ask Fadi, since he and Aaron 100% own Sierra Nevada Corporation, whether they would ever consider taking it public or raising money from outside investors. Uh, he said he would be open to some of these different possibilities, but that they're very interested in the, in the possibility of maybe a strategic partnership. It would have to be a situation where investors that came in were adding some sort of value uh, and, and not just basically cashing a check and, and walking away. Um, but I also asked him about consolidation because we're seeing that more broadly in the aerospace and defense industry as well. A little bit of speculation around some of that that we've seen, but says in general, when you talk about the tier one uh, companies, which are really the defense primes that they've been doing business for a very long time, that it's a very comfortable environment and really calling them, quote, one of these too big to fail kind of situations. Part of the reason they are so excited about things like commercial space, that you have these startups, you have these new companies that are coming in, SNC included, that are in a position to innovate and disrupt. He sees that as a real opportunity for a company like SNC because he doesn't see a lot in the mid-tier of the market right now. Uh, the last thing I'll just say, when you talk about the story of these two space billionaires, they were very motivated by Apollo 11. Fadi was watching it back in Turkey on television when it happened 50 years ago, and Aaron heard it on the radio. And Fadi telling me that it was a very big inspiration and one of those things that's helped drive them to this point today.